Okay, so let's take a quick look at Veeam Backup for Red Hat Virtualization. And we're gonna start in the Overt Administration Portal. So for those that haven't seen Overt before, think of this as the vCenter for you know, KVM and Red Hat virtualization. So when we log in here, if we go to compute, we can see that I've actually deployed a couple of virtual machines, but the one to look out for is the actual Veeam appliance. So as this comes, we basically deploy the Veeam appliance into the Overt Virtualization Manager, and then we run through a series of simple setup steps. Once that's done, we can then log in to the backup for Red Hat Virtualization Administration Console. So let's log into that. And you can see here you're presented with a very simple dashboard now. This demo is pretty simple, right? Because in effect, this is doing exactly what it says on the sticker. So let's go to the configuration. The configuration steps include adding a Veeam Backup and Replication Server where you get your repositories from. You then add the Virtualization Manager, which is the API endpoint for the Overt Engine that we saw before, and then some basic appliance settings. If we go to Jobs, we can see here that I've got one configured already. If I add a job, we'll just run through this menu very quickly. Let's give this another name. Okay, and let's now add some VMs that live in this Red Hat virtualization cluster. So let's add those two there. Let's go to next. Let's select the repository that we want to target. Keep the restore points. If we want to go in advanced, we can do some, you know, advanced settings here, schedule a full backup, remove backups after a certain amount of days, and then set the schedule. So let's run this daily at 10 o'clock and usual. So again, if you're used to Veeam, this is no different to what we have in our main backup and replication product. Let's click on finish, but let's run that to start with. And that's pretty much it. So that's gonna go and run in the background. While that's running, let's go and have a look at the protected VM list. So here's where you can basically go and see what VMs have been previously backed up. You can see we've got one here. And from here, we can do a disk restore or a whole in-place recovery as well. So you can see they're full and a bunch of incrementals. Now very quickly, let's go and switch over to the Veeam Backup and Replication Server and see what's going on there. So at the Veeam Backup and Replication Server, you can see here that under the backup jobs, we've got a couple of external policies which are related to the KVM backup that we just showed. And if we go to the running tasks, you'll see that the one that's running at the moment is the one we just created and starting. If we go to backups and we see a list of what's on there, you can see that the KVM00 job has a list of those four backups that we um, saw in the console. And then if we right click here, you can see one of the great things is that we still have all the famous Veeam recovery options that are available to this particular backup.